Welcome to this short tutorial video on how to trade digital assets using the Telcoin mobile application. This is a brand new feature as part of the 3.1 update that utilizes the decentralized Tel Exchange liquidity pools to offer high speed, low cost trades of digital assets on the Polygon network. The best thing about this system is that the Tel holders who are participating in the liquidity pools are actively powering this service and as a result are earning a portion of fees for the trades that would traditionally be going directly to a centralized exchange and so effectively putting their Tel to work for them. You can learn more information about how to become a Telex liquidity provider via the links in the description below this video. Upon opening the Telcoin app, you are presented with the main screen where you can see your wallet balance value in your local fiat currency. Tap Show Assets to reveal a drop down menu of all the assets you currently hold within your wallet. In this wallet, there is $200 worth of USDC. If you hold multiple types of digital assets in your wallet, they will all be shown in this asset drop down list. Today, I would like to trade my USDC for a different token directly within the Telcoin app. Tap the New Transaction button at the bottom of the screen. It is a circle with two arrows in the center, and this will open a pop up window that gives you options to trade digital assets, deposit assets into your wallet, or withdraw them from your wallet. Tap on the trade button to open up the trading screen. First, select the asset you would like to trade by pressing the small icon on the right of the trade amount box. A pop-up will show a list of the available digital assets that can currently be traded from within the Telcoin app, along with any amounts of each token you hold in your wallet. Since there is only USDC in this wallet, this is the only token I can trade with. I will select USDC and then input the amount of that token I would like to trade. For now, I want to trade $50 worth of USDC, then tap Done. A pop-up list of available tokens that you can trade will appear. Swipe your finger up or down the screen to scroll through the list until you find the token that you wish to trade to. It is worth noting that more digital assets will be added to this list over time that you will be able to store or trade within your Telcoin app. However, upon launch of version 3.1 of the application, the list is limited to what you can see available on your screen. For now, I want to trade my USDC to the Telcoin native token, TEL, and so I will select it from this list. Now you can see an estimate of how much TEL you will receive for this trade. Below this, you can see the current market rate for the trade, followed by the minimum amount you will receive, the price impact, and finally the transaction fees, which will be subtracted from the token you are trading from. The rate and amount you will receive is dynamic, and can change depending on token price movements. If you tap the small icon next to min received, a pop-up will explain that in the event of a large unfavorable price movement, your transaction may not be submitted to the blockchain. The price impact is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to trade size. For small trades, the price impact will be very low. However, for much larger trades, the price impact could be higher and it is directly correlated with the amount of token liquidity in the liquidity pools, coupled with the market price of the token. Once you are happy with your trade amount, tap Proceed to Confirmation. You only have to do this one time, but it will need to be done for any tokens you wish to trade. Tap Give Permission, and then enter the PIN that you use when setting up the Telcoin app, and then tap Confirm and Send. Please wait a moment whilst the application approves the USDC for trade, you will then see a notification stating that it has been successful. Now that you have authorized the application to trade with your token, tap Proceed to Confirmation once more. Check the details of the trade one more time on the screen and please note that once initiated, the transaction will be submitted to the blockchain and cannot be reversed or undone. So be sure to double check everything, then tap Confirm. You will be prompted to input your PIN one more time. A pop-up box may appear asking if you would like to enable Face ID for an additional layer of security. We recommend that you enable this, however for the purpose of this video I will skip this step and tap not now, I'll do it later. You can now see a notification at the top stating that your trade is in progress. Please wait for the confirmation. It should not take long, however sometimes can be a little delayed due to network congestion. 
and now you can see that your trade is complete. Tap the home button to go back to the main screen. It will take a few moments for the trade to update on your application. I will tap the tell asset to go to that asset page and here I can see my wallet now has 6,572 tell with a value of $49.19. And now I can see in the main screen the app has updated with my new balance. You can check on the transaction history by clicking the small menu icon at the top right of the screen. It looks like three little lines. Tap Transactions to view your transaction history. I can now see that my completed trade is showing here. Tap on the transaction and you can see all of the details of the trade saved within your application. Congratulations, you made your first trade via the Telcoin mobile application. We hope you found this tutorial video helpful in understanding how to trade your digital assets. You can find more information about Telcoin and our services via our website and please join us in our community should you need any further help or information. Links to these can be found in the description below this video. Thank you.